Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Just want to go through a quick rundown on this actual monster here. Managed to find one pretty cheap, so I thought I'd have to get it because I really want to bring back two JZs here. I do have the room now, so I can actually bring a couple of different engines as well and uh, for different projects. I'll tell you a bit about what I'm exactly going to do with this one a bit later, but obviously it is a 2JZ. It's a GE though, so it's a non-turbo. The turbo ones now are very, very hard as everyone can um, see out there on the, the net. They're ranging from about that six to 10 grand for a turbo engine and around about that three to four sort of thing there for a NA engine. They are, there is their differences in the insides and a couple other things on the head. This is a VVTi, so it's got variable cam timing. I don't have a VVTi. I'm gonna tell you the whole thing of in a second. So I do have another head, another, um, a, another natural aspirated head. So I'm gonna do a pretty big build a bit later on when I've finished a few of these builds just for my personal own use as well. Uh, it's gonna be just pretty much just a drag car as well because that's what I like. I don't like building street cars too much anymore. I've had my time on the street and uh, they end up not good. But let's unwrap this. Let me show you what it is exactly and if you do, guys have not seen a 2JZ and you don't know what they are, so guys, if you don't know what a 2JZ is, it's from the Supra. That's what they're mainly known for. They actually did come originally before the Supras in 91, I believe. They actually come in the Aristo, and I personally had an Aristo back in the day, and that's how I got into the 2Js. They make bulk loads of power, guys. Everyone loves them. They've been... Uh, They've been well proven of how much power they can actually take and how much they can actually make. Big turbos and whatnot, they actually are only a three litre. And yeah, they're just, they're not big. They're a very small engine compared to an RB, which is a Nissan engine. Or compared to our new Aussie engine, the Barra. They, the Barra is about almost a piston bigger in length than a 2JZ. That's why I don't like barrels too much because they're massive and you can't really fit them in much. Two days, you can fit them in a lot of things. They're a very small engine, very compact. Uh, they're not too tall. And uh, yeah, they're just well proven guys. So if you haven't, if you don't know, I'm not gonna sit here and explain all, all about it, but look them up on Google. So I know I've got a few K series guys now and a few Honda guys now. So if you guys don't know, please, have gone on Google and look up 2JZ engines. So it's running motor and yeah, he is doing a, um, a turbo motor and he doesn't want it. So that's what it is. He's also got me a few parts as well, guys. So I'll call it a servicing, as you would call it, service seals. All right, O-rings and timing belt and also a new tensioner. All right, so it's underwater. Eh? All right, well there we have it guys. 2JZ, BBTI. GE. All right, so non-turbo, easy to change that, no problem. And I've asked for the runners because I need to make up my own manifold, so. All right, peeps, so what is the build? What's it gonna be? So I'm not gonna tell you what car because it's between one or two cars that I wanna do it in. Yeah, as I said, it's gonna be blown up, drag car, that's all it's gonna be, it's never gonna see the road. I got very intrigued by on the internet about a couple of uh, uh, compound build setups, and I've always wanted to do a compound build setup, 
uh, it was a few years back actually I was going to do one on an old engine that I had and uh, turned into to do um, a few other things instead so so it's been in the works for a while just like everything else I've got all these ideas in my head guys I've got to get them out so I know if I have the engine sitting here then it will get done even if it's just in the corner there guys I, I know it will actually happen I'll start ordering some parts for it and get little tiny little bits and pieces done I won't be really doing anything yet until to say a few other things have been done as I said the half a boost is pretty much done so I'm really really excited now uh, I just love all my projects just sitting there and running so next one's gonna be the a roll racer get that thing running and then back onto then onto the bike once them are done then I only have the drag car there to complete have a couple other projects that we need to do guys but I really want to do some fab work on this so in between bits and pieces if I'm waiting on some parts for the builds then I really want to be starting to make some stuff for this thing so there's a couple of builds um, really good friend I hope he watches this page Shane T uh, he yeah I've sort of really looked for his things that he loves doing and I've always watched his stuff on the Ikanu Racing on the Supra that he built and all that stuff. So they, he, you can go back and actually search his stuff. So Shane Tecklenburg, if you, I hope I said his name right, but if you just go back on his stuff and then he says about the 2JZs, because I, I, I love 2Js, um, he, yeah, got, got um, pulled over at a, uh, I would say a meet and uh, said that if he had ultimate money well, what would he do with a 2j and straight up he would said he would turbo on turbo on turbo pretty much so a yeah um, a compound turbo compound turbos obviously guys you can look them up but they've been around for years so yeah the compound turbs turbos setups have been around for I would say years now so I would say almost decades but they are very new to cars. As I said, they're not, so they're not a big engine, but now that we've got billet coming in, um, we can make some massive horsepower. So that is the plan, the future, future plan. Um, really wanna knock it up with all this. So this is gonna be my mock-up engine. And then I've got, so then I've got this head and that head but I really want to probably do something else with this engine and I have another head there for the build for a billet block but I really want to mock it up in the engine bay but I really want to do um, let's say a compound compound setup so with three or four turbochargers so turbo on turbo on turbo on turbo pretty much um, I know that the billets now can make anywhere from three to four thousand horsepower. Um, that's sort of something that I don't know how to use it, so I've got a build that I sort of want to do, and I've always wanted this chassis set up. If I can get one, then I would love to do it in it. As I said, I won't tell you right now, but I really want to, yeah, do a compound turbo on set up on a 2J. So we have the 2J set up guys. I don't want to say any really more bore you guys with more talking, but there's just some information there for you that I really, what I want to do and what, 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 how you can see the channel going. But as you guys can see, the rest of the builds will be done first and then we will be back. I'll be, you know, tinkering with this as well in the background there. I do have another K-series engine, engine as well, and a couple other engines as well, but my heart's always with these ones, these are the 2Js, and this is why I'm pretty much here, so. Um, I got him to leave the intake manifold runners, guys, because I really want to make my own intake plenum. I know Hypertune, and there's a couple other good brands out there that make really, really nice plenums, but I really love to make stuff, so. Yeah, I love to fabricate guys, and I know I really want to make, um, yeah, a decent plenum. So, that's where we're at guys. Um, so, the build is that it'll be a mock-up engine, um, and then going down the billet route. So, 
This won't be started, it might be started with the compound turbo. I'm not sure, it depends on how I go. But um, yeah, more than likely you'll probably be more, more started with the village up, so. Yeah, it's what it is. But I'm really excited that I've actually got another, another 2J. And yeah, it's in my place. So yeah, really excited. So guys, I've got a few other things I've got to get done. I thought I'd just let you guys know it because if you guys will probably see it around in the workshop. But I do have myself a, another 2JZ. So leave it at that. Thanks very much, guys, for liking and subscribing. If you haven't, please go do so. Please ask me any questions, guys. I try to answer all of them as much as I can anyway. Um, I've got some massive exciting news coming up very shortly. Um, big things are happening for Snail TV if you haven't already seen. But um, yeah, we're only going one place and that's up. So get on board, guys. Um, yeah, if you guys got questions, yeah, hope you guys jump on board. So I'll see you guys on the next video. See you, peeps.